coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Well, he's only 29 years old, but Jared Parker making it official. He is retiring from the game of baseball. During his time in the majors, the righty registering a 25 and 16 record and a 3.68 ERA. Those numbers certainly don't tell the whole story. Armed with a 99 mile an hour fastball, Jared's career cut short by a series of injuries that robbed baseball fans of perhaps the greatest baseball prospect to ever come out of Northeast Indiana. With a ninth selection, in the first round of the 2007 first year player draft, the Arizona Diamondbacks select Jared. The ninth overall pick and the first high school pitcher selected in the 07 draft, Norwell's Jared Parker was a can't miss prospect. You know, sometimes you hear a little nitpicking among area scouts. You know, the guy has this kind of weakness or that kind of weakness. Area scouts love Jared Parker from day one this season, and the Diamondbacks just got a great pick there. Jared signing for $2.1 million, and he began his pro career in Low A with the South Bend Silverhawks in 2008, where the 19 year old was the winning pitcher, ironically, against the Fort Wayne Wizards in the final game played at Memorial Stadium. I feel like I've thrown pretty well. I mean, I've been pretty consistent. I mean, I have some bad ones, I have some good ones, but it's just all about forgetting the last ones and just throwing, throwing the next one, looking forward to the next one. He was on to double A in 2009, but an elbow injury in Mobile that July led to his first Tommy John surgery. Typically eight to, eight to 12 months rehab. After the you know, four months, you start throwing again, so that's kind of where we're looking. He missed all the 2010 season as well, but was back in Mobile in 2011 and pitched well enough to earn a major league call-up for the Diamondbacks. The one-two from Jared. Slider locked him up. <laughs> Did it ever. One of baseball's hot prospects that offseason, Jared was traded to Oakland in part for all-star pitcher Trevor Cahill. Obviously it's a goal to earn, you know, earn a spot out of spring training break with the big team and you know, spend the entire year up there getting comfortable. <laughs> comfortable he was. Jared finished fifth in Rookie of the Year voting in the American League behind guys like Mike Trout and Hugh Darvish. Change up and a good one. In 2013, he set an Oakland franchise record with 19 consecutive starts without a loss. You know, I think every day is you know something that's new and exciting, and to be you know young in the big leagues and learning as much as I can. Projected to be the A's opening day starter in 2014, Parker found out during spring training he needed Tommy John surgery again, and he missed the season. And the old one, it slips out of Parker's hand, and Jared goes down in pain. On the edge of returning to the majors in May of 2015, Parker fractured his pitching elbow during a start in AAA Nashville. After a year and a half of rehab, he broke the same elbow again, essentially ending the career of one of the most promising arms in baseball. Now, Jared just got married back in October, and he lives in Nashville with his wife, Lauren, who is a dentist. Parker says that he'd like to stay in baseball, perhaps as a rehab coordinator, where he could use his experience helping others and of course obviously you, you wish he never had the injuries you wish that it all never happened you never know uh, how good he could have been but he's not a guy that really looks back and says yeah. what could have happened he's a guy that's looking forward and says you know what maybe I can help some guys that are going through I've had a lot of arm surgeries maybe I can help some guys going forward and we certainly uh, would like to have him around the game of baseball he's a great mind and a great guy we wish him the best we certainly do thank you so much Glenn mm -hmm.